We are no longer the bottom-rated news station in Minneapolis. Well, how can that be? There's nothing below the bottom. Uh, we're next to the bottom. Uh, no kidding? <laughs> oh, boy, I never thought something like this would make me happy, but this is terrific. If only we could keep it up. You know what this could mean? A congressional investigation of the rating system? Oh. Uh, boy, am I pooped. Hey, Ted, the new ratings came out. Oh? Ted, come back here. Oh, no, you just want to make me feel like the ratings are my fault. No, Ted, the ratings are good. Look. Go on. Oh, not bad. Not bad? What do you mean, not bad? That's the best we've ever done. Well, you guys may be satisfied, but not me. You know how I am in my quest for perfection. <laughs> I'll take off my makeup. Well, that's right, it's the first of the month, isn't it? I gotta go tell the crew. This is gonna make them so happy. Yeah, I'll go with you. I want to see their faces. Tell them I get an extra ration of rum. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Grant. Georgia. I was supposed to meet Ted. Mm -hmm. But I, don't bother him. I'm sure he'll be right out. Mm -hmm. I don't want to bother you either. I'll wait outside. No, no. Come on back. It's nice seeing you again. <laughs> so, uh, how's the manicure job going? Oh, I quit that weeks ago. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, what are you doing? I'm a golden girl now. <laughs> I go from door to door selling golden girl cosmetics. <laughs> Ding dong, it's your golden girl. <laughs> Everything for the more beautiful you. <laughs> Do you want to see my sample? Why not? What do you got? Bath oil beads. Makes you feel like you've been massaged by a thousand little hands. <laughs> oh I'm sorry they make me say that. <laughs> You're a real cutie, you know that? Thanks. What else you got? Wrinkle cream. Comes in three aromas. Fresh strawberry, fresh banana, and fresh unscented. <laughs> no. I don't think I want Edie to smell like a banana. I need the rating book. The crew doesn't believe me. Here. Hiya, George. Yes. Hi, Mary. I was just showing Mr. Grant my golden girl line. Oh, how's it going? Oh, like hotcakes. Good. <laughs> Hello, Ted. I told you, I don't like to smooch in public. I'm sorry, but can you go now? Oh, uh, sure, only I'm a little tired tonight. So I'm gonna go right home and log a little sack time. I'll call you tomorrow, maybe. He, uh, really was tired. I mean, all you had to do was watch him on the show tonight. Yeah. Boy. Hey, Georgette, I, I know if you're not doing anything tonight, why don't you come have dinner with Rhoda and me? Won't well, it be fun, just you, me, and Rhoda, huh? Georgette? What? Oh, thank you. I like that a lot. Okay, good. I tell you, I still have a little work to do, but why don't you meet me at my place around 8 o'clock? All right. Okay. Say, Georgette, I'll uh, take one of those uh, wrinkle cream things. <laughs> yeah, Lou, you owe it to yourself. <laughs> After all, it isn't every day you're number four. <laughs> Unscented. understand how Georgette could have been in such a good mood after Ted stood her up like that, and he does it all the time. Why don't you say something to him about it? Well, I can't. It's, I, I'm not Miss Fix-It. It's none of my business. About all I could do was give him a long, dirty look. What'd he do? Well, you know Ted. He thought I was coming on with him. <laughs> you know what really kills me? I am the one who introduced Ted and Georgette to each other. Mia, yeah, I met a guy who'd be really great for Georgette. He's sensitive, he's kind, and loving. 
Wait, what am I doing? I almost gave away a guy who's sensitive, kind, and loving. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you are right. She must like Ted. I mean, if she didn't, she wouldn't go out with him anymore. Right. I didn't like him, so I didn't go out with him anymore. <laughs> you went out with yes, Ted? once, once when? only. Around the holidays. Why? I don't know. I get a little crazy around Christmas. <laughs> there was old Ted with his silver hair and his jolly ho, ho, ho. Sort of a Santa figure for me. Well, why, why didn't you tell me? I did. You asked me, uh, what'd you do last night? And I said, I went out with some jerk. I just didn't tell you his name. <laughs> well, I sure wish you hadn't told me now. Why? Because when I heard you went out with Ted, I painted the doorknob. <laughs> It's locked. Uh, well, uh, just, uh, a minute. <laughs> oh, oh, hi, Georgette. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Mary. Nice hi. to see you again. Excuse me, Georgette. I gotta go clean off my hand. Does she do that every time she shakes him? <laughs> no, no, she was painting. Mary, I just love your apartment. Well, you've been here before. I know, but I just love your apartment. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, this is for you, Rhoda. It is. And this is for you, Mary. Well, what are these for? Well, you two didn't let me pay for dinner last night, and I wanted to do something to say thank you. Oh, these are beautiful mm. placemats. Mm. I made them. I hope you like you them. You made these? I love them. Oh, look at this. Oh, I'm going to have to get a little couch to go with this. <laughs> Thank you, really. <laughs> Who's that one for? Oh, this is Ted's laundry. <laughs> you uh, do Ted's laundry, huh? Yeah. He likes the way I fluff and fold. <laughs> I have to be going now. Uh, Georgette, ho hold it. I, um, I want to tell you about this wonderful guy that Rhoda has for you. Sure. Oh, no, that's silly, Georgette. I mean, I don't care if Ted knows I've introduced you to somebody else. Well, let him be mad. I'm not afraid of Ted Baxter. Bye-bye. Turn up the sound and see if you can figure out what's going on. <laughs> now for our closing humorous notes. In Stamford, Connecticut, Tom Campbell was excused from jury duty when he came up with a very good excuse. He was a defendant. <laughs> and that was our humorous note for today. This is Ted Baxter. Good night and good news. I haven't seen Ted so angry since they canceled my mother the car. <laughs> What's he so mad about? Me. No, I want to call a meeting of the entire staff. <laughs> Out here. <laughs> this meeting will now come to order. Ted. <laughs> Chair, I'd like to make an opening statement. I always like to think that our little newsroom was one big happy family. But in my innocence, little did I suspect we'd be harboring a backstabber in our very bosom. I'm going to reveal the name of that person. The backstabber is... Isn't this where the lights go off and Ted is found dead on the floor? <laughs> the backstabber is Mary Richards. Uh Ted, look, couldn't we... Who has deliberately set out to poison the relationship between me and my woman. Ted. Admit it, Mary. Tonight, Georgette's going out with a guy that you fixed her up with. Yes, I admit it, but I really uh, don't uh, see... She admits it. Oh, okay, Ted, she admitted it. Is that it? No. I also want her to admit that she made a mistake and she won't do it again. Mary, tell him you made a mistake and you won't do it again. I'm not going to say anything like that. How's that, Ted? That good enough for you? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm going to the mat on this, Lou. This is big. It's not like the fresh towels from my dressing room. 
not giving in this time. I'll tell you what, Ted. I'll talk to Mary. And I'll get back to you later. Say, how about those fresh towels? Okay, okay, okay. Mary first, then the towels. Mr. Grant, you don't have to say anything. I'll be okay. No, let's talk. No, really, I'm, I'm fine. Let's just forget about it. No, I, I can't forget about it. Oh, well, that's really very sweet of you, Mr. Grant, but honestly... Because it's... I agree with Ted. <laughs> you agree with Ted? Why? Because I don't think you should go messing around in Ted's personal life. Well, I don't see it that way, Mr. Grant. Sit down. Mary, what you're doing is liable to affect Ted's work. I don't see how this has anything to do with work. In the same way as my rule about nobody at the station being allowed to date Ted. We don't have a rule like that. Oh, Ted, you don't have to make it a rule. It just works out that way. <laughs> Which is why that girl is very important to him. Yeah, but she's very important to me, too. Mary, you're just gonna have to see this my way. Well, I'm afraid I can't, Mr. Grant, so, uh, if you'll excuse me. No. I can't excuse you. This isn't settled yet. Well, then I'll, I'll just have to go anyway. You're gonna leave? Yes. Without my telling you it's okay? Yes. When? <laughs> no. Of course, it would make it a lot easier if you would just say, good night, Mary. I can't say that because this meeting is not over. <laughs> well, good night, Mr. Grant. <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to say good uh, night. see him before I go home tonight and try to straighten things out. you found out that your attempt to break up George and me didn't work. That lightweight you found her just couldn't hack the competition. <laughs> Newsroom. Oh, hi, George. Yeah, he is. Just a moment, please. It's for you. Hi, baby. <laughs> tonight? Oh, no, not tonight. Tonight I've got other fish to fry. Um, maybe tomorrow. Why don't you call me tomorrow? Numero uno, Mayor. Numero uno. <laughs> Hi, Georgette. Listen, as long as you're not doing anything tonight, I'd like you to meet this terrific guy I know. 
Right, we'll double. I'll call you later and let you know what time. <laughs> the double date with George Ed. I mean, did you fix her up with a nice guy? Yeah, and it was uh, pretty awful. Awful? Well, he's one of the nicest guys I know. Sweet, gentle. And? And by the time the evening was over, this nice, sweet, gentle guy was treating her crummy. What do you mean, ma'am? She brings out the worst in men. I mean, I think we're going about this the wrong way. Ted's not the problem. It's George Ed. Yeah, I see what you mean. She's a professional victim. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Mary, I was like that once myself. Okay, a little different style, of course. A little louder, as we all know. But Mary, I never did a guy's laundry. Never did my laundry. Wait, it gets better. This guy that I fixed her up with last night called her up and said, how about dinner? She said, fine. And by the time we got over to her house to pick her up, she had made the dinner. Oh, she really is a pro. Yeah. What are we going to do about her, Rhoda? I mean, or even should we? I mean, I just don't know. Maybe we shouldn't, Mayor. I'm tempted to take advantage of her myself. Knock, knock, it's your golden girl. The doorbell wasn't working. That's why I couldn't say ding dong. <laughs> Oh, thanks. I just ran out. <laughs> Georgia, would you like some coffee? No, but I'll make some if you want it. No, no, no. It's it's already made. You sure you like some? Okay, if you already made it, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, Georgia, could you pick that up for me? Sure. Hello? Guess she is. Just a minute, please. It's for me. <laughs> Ted. Okay, sure. Bye-bye, Ted. He just wanted me to add vitamin E and tiger's milk to his shopping list. <laughs> Georgia, uh, I, I think we ought to have a small talk. And you better sit down, because we're going to give it to you with both barrels. Oh, good. Bye right here. <laughs> Look, about you and Ted. I know what you think about Ted, Mary. Uh-uh, no, we're not talking about Ted now. We're mad at you, Georgette. For what you're doing. Then I won't do it anymore. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Georgette, what, what you're doing is not having enough respect for yourself. Georgette, what do you think of yourself? Yeah, come on, tell us. Well, I think I'm about five foot six, and I have sort of curlish blonde hair. No, no, Georgia, we don't mean what you look like. We're talking about what you are. Listen, say something positive about yourself. Well, I have good handwriting. <laughs> And I like animals. <laughs> and I think I understand why you're trying to help me. You do? Great. Okay, now come on, tell us something really positive about you. I'm good with my hands. <laughs> and I'm a pretty fair country cook. And I like to think I'm a nice person. Just nice? Very nice. <laughs> Damn nice. <laughs> now you make sure that Ted finds that out. Okay. I'll try and tell him sometime when we're talking about me. <laughs> Lord knows when that'll be. <laughs> Want to have a pillow fight? <laughs> Ken, I don't feel like having a pillow fight tonight. Oh? <laughs> don't blow on 
on my face, Danny. <laughs> What's wrong? I thought you liked that. Not now. I want to talk. Can we have a pillow fight and then talk? <laughs> <laughs> feel like talking. All right, what do we talk about? Sports news, weather? <laughs> Say, did you hear about that tidal wave in Peru? <laughs> Damage to livestock, crops, and property was estimated in the billions of dollars. Not that kind of talk. Ted, I think there's something we have to settle about our relationship. My funny Valentine. <laughs> Sweet comic Valentine. <laughs> you make me smile with my heart. I don't think we should see each other anymore. <laughs> what? Why not? Say, has Mary been talking to you again? I think it's for the best all around. You're kidding. I'm not kidding, Ted. Oh, you're just in a lousy mood. You come to your senses. I mean it. My funny Valentine. <laughs> Sweet comic Valentine. Please don't make it any harder than it is, Ted. But that's our song, isn't it? <laughs> I think you should go home now, Ted. Okay, if that's the way you want it, that's the way you're going to get it. I have to stay around here, you know. Plenty of fish to fry in the ocean. <laughs> and don't bother to change your mind, I'm going. So long, baby. <laughs> Thanks for the memory. <laughs> I said I wanted to go, but I don't really want to go. I lied. You did? Don't. Don't make me go, Georgia. I can change. Just, just tell me what it is you want me to do, and I'll do it. You mean it? <laughs> sure, I mean it. Just, just tell me what it is, and I'll do it. Unless you don't want me to do it, then I won't do it. <laughs> I don't want to do your laundry anymore. <laughs> I match your socks, but I don't want to do your laundry. Okay, baby. What else? I don't want you to call me baby anymore. I'm not a baby. All right. What do you want me to call you? Let's see this. Uh, cookie, bunny, lambkins, angel, puss, ducky. And if you don't like any of those, I'll have Murray come up with something. <laughs> Georgette. I want Georgette. But that's so long. It's what I want. It's my name. Okay, Georgette. Ted, there's one more thing. What is it? You never told me you loved me. Well, that's not an easy thing for me to say. Why? Well, because when I said it before to people, no one ever said it back. I'll say it back. You will? I promise. Okay. <clears throat> I love, 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 <laughs> love you. And I love you, Ted. You do. <laughs> you want me to say it again? <laughs> I love you, Georgette. <laughs> what to say without moving my lips? I love you. <laughs> what to say like Lowell Thomas? This is Lowell Thomas saying I love you. <laughs> tell you about my weekend. I want to tell you about my weekend. Why don't you tell me about your weekend? Being with Georgette was like being with another woman. It's incredible. I mean, we were equal. We cooked dinner in the kitchen side by side. And afterwards, she selected the movie we went to see. I mean, for the first time, everything wasn't left up to me. And I understand you were responsible. Well, 
She's a friend, and I just wanted to be helpful. I just want you to know that as long as I live, I'll never forgive you. said, how about dinner? She said, fine. And by the time we got over to her house to pick her up, she had made the dinner. Oh, she really is a pro. Yeah. <laughs> what are we going to do about her, Rhoda? I mean, or even should we? I mean, I just don't know. Maybe we shouldn't, Mayor. I'm tempted to take advantage of her myself. Last <laughs> knock, it's your golden girl. The doorbell wasn't working. That's why I couldn't say ding dong. <laughs> you two are my best customers. Here, Rhoda, here's your bath oil beam. Oh, thanks. I just ran out. Georgia, would you like some coffee? No, but I'll make some if you want it. No, 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 it's it's already made. You sure you like some? Okay, if you already made it, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh Georgia, could you pick that up for me? Sure. Hello? Yes, she is. Just a minute, please. It's for me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Ted. Okay, sure. Bye-bye, Ted. He just wanted me to add vitamin E and tiger's milk to his shopping list. Georgette, uh, I, I think we ought to have a small talk. And you better sit down, because we're going to give it to you with both barrels. Oh, good. <laughs> Look, about you and Ted. I know what you think about Ted, Mary. Uh-uh, no, we're not talking about Ted now. We're mad at you, Georgette. Well, what you're doing? Then I won't do it anymore. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Georgette, what... What you're doing is not having enough respect for yourself. Georgette, what do you think of yourself? Yeah, come on, tell us. Well, I think I'm about five foot six, and I have sort of <laughs> curlish blonde hair. No, no, G Georgette, we don't mean what you look like. We're talking about what you are. Listen. Say something positive about yourself. Well, I have good handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> and I like animals. <laughs> and I think I understand why you're trying to help me. You do? Great. OK, now come on, tell us something really positive. Well, I have good handwriting. <laughs> and I like animals. And I think I understand why you're trying to help me. You do? Great. OK, now come on, tell us something really positive about you. I'm good with my hands. And I'm a pretty fair country cook. And I'd like to think I'm a nice person. Just nice? Very nice. <laughs> Damn nice. <laughs> now you make sure that Ted finds that out. OK. I'll try and tell him sometime when we're talking about me. <laughs> Lord knows when that'll be. <laughs> Georgette, 
Want to have a pillow fight? <laughs> Jen, I don't feel like having a pillow fight tonight. Oh? <laughs> <laughs> Don't blow on my face, Daddy. What's wrong? I thought you liked that. Not now. I want to talk. Can we have a pillow fight and then talk? <laughs> <laughs> no, I really feel like talking. All right. What do we talk about? Sports, news, weather? <laughs> Say, did you hear about that tidal wave in Peru? <laughs> Damage to livestock, crops, and property was estimated in the billions of dollars. Not that kind of talk. Ted, I think there's something we have to settle about our relationship. My funny Valentine. <laughs> Sweet comic Valentine. <laughs> you make me smile with my heart. I don't think we should see each other anymore. <laughs> what? Why not? Say, has Mary been talking to you again? I think it's for the best all around. You're kidding. I'm not kidding, Ted. Oh, you're just in a lousy mood. You come to your senses. I mean it. My funny Valentine. <laughs> Sweet comic Valentine. Please don't make it any harder than it is, Ted. But that's our song, isn't it? <laughs> I think you should go home now, Ted. Okay, if that's the way you want it, that's the way you're going to get it. You know what this could mean? A congressional investigation of the rating system? Oh. Uh, boy, am I pooped. Hey, Ted, the new ratings came out. Oh? Ted, come back here. Oh, no, you just want to make me feel like the ratings are my fault. No, Ted, the ratings are good. Look. Go on. Oh, not bad. Not bad? What do you mean, not bad? That's the best we've ever done. Well, you guys may be satisfied, but not me. You know how I am in my quest for perfection. <laughs> I'll take off my makeup. Well, that's right. It's the first of the month, isn't it? I gotta go tell the crew. This is gonna make them so happy. Yeah, I'll go with you. I want to see their faces. Tell them they get an extra ration of rum. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Grant. Georgia. Hmm. I was supposed to meet Ted. Mm -hmm. But I, don't bother him. I'm sure he'll be right out. Mm -hmm. I don't want to bother you either. I'll wait outside. No, no. Come on back. It's nice seeing you again. <laughs> so, uh, how's the manicure job going? Oh, I quit that weeks ago. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, what are you doing? I'm a golden girl now. <laughs> I go from door to door selling golden girl cosmetics. <laughs> Ding dong, it's your golden girl. <laughs> Everything for the more beautiful you. <laughs> do you want to see my sample? Why not? What do you got? Bath oil beads. Makes you feel like you've been massaged by a thousand little hands. <laughs> oh I'm sorry they make me say that. <laughs> You're a real cutie, you know that? Thanks. What else you got? Wrinkle cream. Comes in three aromas. Fresh strawberry, fresh banana, and fresh unscented. <laughs> no. I don't think I want Edie to smell like a banana. I need the rating book. The crew doesn't believe me. Here. Hiya, George. Yes. Hi, Mary. I was just showing Mr. Grant my golden girl line. Oh, how's it going? Oh, like hotcakes. Good. <laughs> Hello, Ted. Told you, I don't like to smooch in public. I'm sorry, but can you go now? Oh, uh, sure, only I'm a little tired tonight. So I'm gonna go right home and log a little sack time. Oh, call you. <laughs> well... <laughs> You're in 
not going to say any good to her tonight. <laughs> See him before I go home tonight and try to straighten things out. you found out that your attempt to break up George Etemy didn't work. That lightweight you found her just couldn't hack the competition. <laughs> Newsroom. Oh, hi, George Ed. Yeah, he is. Just a moment, please. It's for you. Hi, baby. <laughs> tonight? Oh, no, not tonight. Tonight I've got other fish to fry. Um, maybe tomorrow. Why don't you call me tomorrow? Numero uno, Mayor. Numero uno. <laughs> Hi, Georgette. Listen, as long as you're not doing anything tonight, I'd like you to meet this terrific guy I know. <laughs> right, we'll double. I'll call you later and let you know what time. <laughs> How was the double date with George Ed? I mean, did you fix her up with a nice guy? Yeah, and it was uh, pretty awful. Awful? Well, he's one of the nicest guys I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mayor, by the way, by now I guess you found out that your attempt to break up George Ed and me didn't work. That lightweight you found her just couldn't hack the competition. <laughs> Oh, hi, George Ed. Yeah, he is. Just a moment, please. It's for you. Hi, baby. <laughs> tonight? Oh, no, not tonight. Tonight I've got other fish to fry. Um, maybe tomorrow. Why don't you call me tomorrow? Numero uno, Mayor. Numero uno. <laughs> hi, George Ed. Listen, as long as you're not doing anything tonight, I'd like you to meet this terrific guy I know. <laughs> right, we'll double. I'll call you later and let you know what time. <laughs> hey, listen, how was the double date with George Ed? I mean, did you fix her up with a nice guy? Yeah, and it was uh, pretty awful. Awful? Well, he's one of the nicest guys I know. Sweet, gentle, and... And by the time the evening was over, this nice, sweet, gentle guy was treating her crummy. What do you mean, Mayor? She brings out the worst in men. I mean, I think we're going about this the wrong way. Ted's not the problem. It's Georgette. Yeah, I see what you mean. She's a professional victim, right? Yeah. <laughs> Mary, I was like that once myself. Okay, a little different style, of course. A little louder, as we all know. But Mary, I never did a guy's laundry. Never did my laundry. Wait, it gets better. This guy that I fixed her up with last night called her up and said, how about dinner? She said, fine. And by the time we got over to her house to pick her up, she had made the dinner. Oh, she really is a pro. Yeah. What are we gonna do about her, Rhoda? I mean... 
Or even should we? I mean, I just don't know. Maybe we shouldn't, Mayor. I'm tempted to take advantage of her myself. <laughs> It's your golden girl. The doorbell wasn't working. That's why I couldn't say ding dong. <laughs> you two are my best customers. Here, Rhoda, here's your bath oil beam. Oh, thanks. I just ran out. <laughs> Georgia, would you like some coffee? No, but I'll make some if you want it. No, no, no. It's it's already made. You sure you like some? Okay, if you already made it, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, Georgia, could you pick that up for me? Sure. Hello? Be nice. Damn nice. <laughs> now you make sure that Ted finds that out. Okay. I'll try and tell him sometime when we're talking about me. <laughs> Lord knows when that'll be. <laughs> Want to have a pillow fight? <laughs> Ken, I don't feel like having a pillow fight tonight. Oh? <laughs> don't blow on my face, Ted. What's wrong? I thought you liked that. Not now. I want to talk. Can we have a pillow fight and then talk? <laughs> no, I really feel like talking. All right, what do we talk about? Sports, news, weather? <laughs> Say, did you hear about that tidal wave in Peru? <laughs> Damage to livestock, crops, and property was estimated in the billions of dollars. Not that kind of talk. Ted, I think there's something we have to settle about our relationship. My funny Valentine. Sweet comic Valentine. You make me smile with my heart. I don't think we should see each other anymore. What? Why not? Say, has Mary been talking to you again? I think it's for the best all around. You're kidding. I'm not kidding, Ted. Oh, you're just in a lousy mood. You come to your senses. I mean it. My funny Valentine. <laughs> Sweet comic Valentine. Please don't make it any harder than it is, Ted. But that's our song, isn't it? <laughs> I think you should go home now, Ted. Okay, if that's the way you want it, that's the way you're going to get it. I have to stay around here, you know. Plenty of fish to fry in the ocean. <laughs> and don't bother to change your mind, and I'm going. So long, baby. <laughs> Thanks for the memory. I said I wanted to go, but I don't really want to go. I lied. You did? Don't... Don't make me...